<laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. We are at Dan Tana's restaurant in West Hollywood. Now, there's a border between West Hollywood and Beverly Hills, and this is just about a block to the east of that border. So it's still in West Hollywood, but it's on the edge of Beverly Hills. It is a very popular restaurant. It's been around for at least 60 years, maybe longer. I can't remember exactly what. And it is reputed to have the best chicken parmesan in all of Los Angeles, some people say in the entire world. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try the chicken parm, we're gonna try a few other dishes, and uh, our niece Jessie's gonna be joining us. We're gonna have a really nice time. That is a delicious, cheesy, garlicky garlic bread. It's on sourdough. Really good start to the meal. I like it. You want pepper? Sure. Mm. Good classic Caesar salad. Yes, it is. Mm hmm. Thank you. Mm. What do you think? Was this the kind of salad you were in the mood for? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Just um, classic Caesar salad. Yeah. So you could get it from a very fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's an interesting thing about Caesar salads. A lot of restaurants that make them now put anchovies in it. The original Caesar salad did not have anchovies in it. They actually used Worcestershire in the dressing and Worcestershire sauce has anchovies in the sauce, so you get the anchovy flavor. Mm. But people started wanting the anchovy flavor, and so restaurants started mashing up anchovies into the dressing. And now, most of the time, when you get Caesar salad, you'll get anchovies in the dressing. Oh, so do you think there's actually anchovies? Oh. Yes, oh. they mash it up here. I can taste it. You know me. I'm sensitive to fish, so I can always tell when there's fish in something. But it's, it's, it's in, a good, in a good way you like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. The chicken is tender, it's juicy, it's a little salty, but I can handle the saltiness, and it's really tasty. I really like it. It's delicious. And I'm very happy mm -hmm. <laughs> that he likes it and has proclaimed it. Mm -hmm. What's your name, delicious. by the way? What's your name? Igor. Igor. I Igor. Know. I know, I know. Yo. <laughs> really, what's your name? Is, is it really Igor? Excuse me. What's my name? Igor. Oh, Thank okay. You. Good. <laughs> well, Nostrovia. <laughs> Give it a taste, see how you like it. Is that a mild fish? White fish is usually very mild. It's very mild. Mm, it's very tender. Mm -hmm. Also a little bit crispy. It's perfect. Very good. Mm. We are very happy with our meal here. Delicious. When I was in school in San Francisco, there was a place I used to love to go to. It was called Little Joe's. In my opinion, it made the best veal parmesan in the entire world. They've closed down, they're not around anymore. Original Joe's in San Jose makes a really good veal parmesan, not as good as the one up there. For chicken parmesan, I usually find that the chicken is too dry for a parmesan dish. Here, their chicken is nice and moist. It's not too dry. It's very tasty. I would definitely come back here for the chicken parmesan. And I can see why people say this is the best in LA and some say this is the best in the world. The main dish, they give you a pasta side dish. Jessie as her pasta side dish because she got a very mild white fish. She got pasta with garlic and olive oil. It's called alia olio. And in my opinion, a really good pasta place, you can judge it by the quality of its alia olio because it's a very simple dish. It's pasta, olive oil, and garlic. 
See that? That's good. It's perfectly cooked. The pasta is al dente, so which means to the teeth. That basically means it's slightly chewy. It's soft enough. It's really tasty. It's got the olive oil. You can taste the olive oil. You can taste the garlic. We put a little bit of the Parmesan cheese on it, so that adds a little saltiness and gives it that cheesy flavor. It's so good together. It's really a nice dish, and it really is the way by which you judge the quality of a kitchen in an Italian restaurant. The meatballs are, are the spaghetti and meat sauce. This is kind of an ordinary spaghetti and meat sauce, but it's good. I mean, if I were in the mood for just spaghetti and meat sauce, this would fill the bill. But it's not anywhere near the quality as good as this or this. Nevertheless, I guarantee you there won't be anything left at the end of the night. Jesse got the honey lavender, which apparently is one of her favorite flavors here at Salt and Straw. And I got the sea salt. The caramel. sea salt. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is their number one flavor here. Mm -hmm. Now, I got the sea salt caramel and the malted chocolate chip cookie dough. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. I think that's sea salt, huh? Yeah. The first time Young and I ever tried salt and straw, we were on the Bay Area Peninsula. And we were doing a day trip up there, and we stopped into the salt and straw up there. We had some very unusual flavors, decided we loved it. And then we saw it again when we were in Seattle, and we tried it there, and it's just as good. Now here we are in West Hollywood, and they have it here too. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Yummy yum. Mm. Honey lavender is very floral. Mm -hmm. What a shame, Young, you won't be able to have any. So we finished up dinner. We were very happy with the dinner. The service was great. The food was delicious. We're definitely coming back to Dantana's. And since we ended a little early in the night, we decided to do a little walk along the street here. We're walking down uh, Santa Monica Boulevard in West Hollywood. This has some of the most happening light nightlife I've seen in LA in a long time. All the bars are going crazy. You know, there's, there's lots of guys, lots of women. There's a lot of fun happening. The good restaurants, there's a lot of good restaurants here. This is definitely a good place to come. If you're looking for a lively nightlife and good restaurants, you should come here. We enjoyed it. We're coming back. <laughs>